Shakespeare, wrote of Julius Caesar's ghost, but most readers are unfamiliar with me, the ghost of Mark Antony. Liberate manus was out of my hands. Even the very best conspirators' plans often go awry. So to my friends, Romans, countrymen, I say that I am a wee bit pissed at Plutarch, Shakespeare, and Charlton Heston. <laughs> so I will do my best and list my grievances one by one. First off, I would not have wasted my time with such persuasive pleasantries as friends, Romans, countrymen. When addressing the sheepish plebeians, I would have opted for something far less formal, something like, Ascolte me, stupido la gente, which is Italian for, listen up, dipshits. <laughs> it's not the only passage from Shakespearean verse which upsets me. There's plenty to offend. I would give Richard III a wild stallion, slap that stud on the rump, the horse that is, and watch him ride. I would confide in Prospero and let him know that the whole castaways thing is no longer about the tiny ship was tossed. It's now an ABC TV series called Lost. And Miranda and Caliban have been usurped by Freckles and Sawyer. And boy, you're in for a surprise, Olivia. I would tell the apothecary that post haste means even faster, and I would attempt to preempt other tragic disasters like getting Desdemona a restraining order and Hamlet set of balls. <laughs> All Shakespearean plays do not have to be reinvented. Macbeth! <laughs> Oh, 